Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Bonnie of Isaac Rebirth. We're due for our Isaac run. Haven't lost a run since I've been back, not bragging. It's just good feeling. 9J, baby! GKP3. Ain't nothing but a GKP3, baby. Playing the Binding of Isaac today. <laughs> This is why I'll never be a rapper, apart from my incredibly square cadences. Um, when I sing nothing but a G thing, I always add one extra syllable to the end. You gotta be able to fit that in there, that's Bush League stuff. Okay, uh, very nearly made a mistake I wouldn't be happy with. I'll walk you through my thought process there. Experimental treatment. Well, I don't wanna... You know, I'm, I'm happy with my stats right now. It's Isaac's base stats on the basement. There's nothing wrong with that. We're ahead of the enemies we're gonna be facing and the boss we're gonna be facing. Why well, muck it up with experimental treatment? Then, re-rolled into Isaac's heart. But in my brain, I was like... Nothing could possibly be less desirable than experimental treatment. I was wrong. Isaac's heart is much less desirable, especially this early, and with no um, guarantee that we're gonna, you know, ball within the bounds of control or out of control for that matter. Very disappointed with the way this is looking right now. This will take us to f no. You know what? This is fine. We'll probably get one more reroll for Isaac's heart, unless that last room that's available is uh, is a sacrifice room. Which is possible, but I certainly hope, hope that that's not how it works out. Okay, good, good, good. Um, in fact, it would be awesome to be able to get a reroll before we even fight the boss. Use it on the item room and then fight the boss. Because, you know, we're not going to... No item the boss gives us is going to be worse than Isaac's Heart. Isaac's Heart, which actively inhibits us, is definitely going to be the worst item. A range upgrade might not be great, but it's not that bad. We might even be able to buy one more charge, although I would rather at this point uh, save the money and get an arcade if we can. So even if this is a decent item, which it is, uh, I'll take it. Bob's Curse, there's nothing wrong with it. Maybe a secret room here. We'll probably end up using like all five bombs on this floor. If I know myself, it's like, oh, I've got five bombs? Time to take advantage of all the things that we didn't have an opportunity to do recently. Oh, this could be nice though. Uh, it's gonna take us close enough that uh, maybe one bomb could allow us to buy something from the secret room or the shop. Sorry, I would love to buy a BFF, baby. Oh, I fucked it. I fucked it up. I didn't blow up our donation machine at the same time. So there go all of Bob's brain, or uh, all of uh, Bob's curses uh, bombs. But hey, effectively, we traded five bombs for BFF. There was a little bit more... Oh man, I wish we saved one bomb. Um, there's a little bit more idiosyncrasy that goes into it. Man, my character is looking... Looks like Channing Tatum as Mark Schultz in Foxcatcher right now. Anyway, good movie by the way, I'd recommend it. There's um... This is not gonna have spoilers for Foxcatcher here, but I, I just... This is still being recorded on the day after. Oh my fucking spirit heart, I'm an idiot. Um, this is being recorded on the day I got back from, you know, my, my parents' house, um, where I was away for the past week or so, and, uh, I already talked about how our view screens, or our in-flight entertainment screens, didn't really work on the way back. What it did is it kept looping, like, you'd, you'd watch it fine for, like, three minutes, and then it would loop. Uh, come on. Well, at least we got BFF for the ball of bandages. It would loop the same section that you just watched, like, ten or twelve times but only 10 seconds of it. So you got like two minutes of basically the same shit repeating over and over. And it happened, it was really good. Um, there's a moment pretty early on in the movie where Channing Tatum is like, and he told me all this stuff about how like our country needs directions and the kids don't have role models and I didn't understand how he was picking up the stuff that was in my head and saying it himself. And then America doesn't uh, have any direction and the kids need role models and I don't know how he's saying the stuff that was in my head and he's picking it up himself and America doesn't have role models and the kids don't have direction and it took me about a minute and a half until I was like oh oh shit this is looping I was like this guy is just they're really characterizing Mark Schultz as a man who is not afraid to repeat himself but no uh, that was there's also another one where he went on like oh I'm such an idiot Dang it! There was also another one where he was running in the woods and it looped, and there was just seriously like four or five minutes of him just running through the woods, and I didn't realize it was a loop until, you know, it was too late, and I was already sunk in. I was already invested in the jog. All right, let's not die. This is actually a possibility for us here. 
I should not... I should never have taken that damage. Full health. Range down. Eh, it could be worse. Alright, let's be... Um, I don't know why we're breaking that stuff, but let's be relatively smart here. Thought maybe we'd find a secret room. Hmm. <laughs> this should not be too bad. The good thing is, you know, uh, ball of bandages will fucking murder everything. It is, uh... It's gonna be quite potent here in the early game. C fucking kamikaze, man! Experimental treatment! Kamikaze! Isaac's heart! What are you doing to me, game? Have I mistreated you recently? I got very lucky, by the way, to not get hurt there. And I should not be doing what I'm doing right now. This is a great base for a run. And, you know, it's important not to throw... I should have tried to shoot that in there and get the pots, but... Um, it's important not to throw in the dumbest way possible. What's the dumbest way possible? Thinking that... Oh, that was... You guys work well together. Thinking that missing one deal with the devil means that the run is over. It's very important that we just remember, you know, it's a long game. One deal with the devil doesn't mean shit, necessarily. Maybe by skipping this deal with the devil, if we don't get it, which we probably won't, but it could happen. Uh, maybe by skipping this one, we'll get the next one, which we otherwise probably would not have gotten. And maybe that one will have great items on it. We just, all we need to do is give ourselves a chance, you know, just survive for now. Yeah, I'll use the two of clubs. Uh, I'll use it early. In the hopes of finding a tinted rock. Uh, which I don't think there was. There was one on the boss fight against Famine. This all started, you know, big things have small beginnings, man. This all started because of the, uh, the really dumb damage against Pestilence. If we don't take that dumb damage, the damage we take on this floor only takes... Excuse me? The damage we take on this floor only takes away our spirit heart, and then we're still totally fine. So, that, you know, or we could have also just not taken the damage on this floor, and that would have been just uh, hunky-dory, but... I think that's the, that's the more preventable of the damage. So what do we do? Well, we have to get HP. I don't want to... Eh, that's pretty good. I don't want to pay a premium for it, but we're going to have to get it one way or the other. If we can get maybe a spirit heart from our shop after blowing some stuff up. Yeah, that's the way it's it's looking like it's going to go. That's enough money to get the spirit heart. So I'm going to get that and... Uh, I don't know. I was thinking like save the rest, but what are we saving it for? All right, well, you know what? We'll save a bomb. And then because we have Bob's Curse, that might be really effective for us to use against the uh, against the boss. Or we can use it to find the secret room, which is almost certainly like a raid here, and then we'll use our Empress card against the boss. This seems viable as well. Our secret room is a charge. Uh, poor play. Poor play. Should have gone over to the far right, gotten the charge, fought the boss. Then I would have had a second charge available, but yeah, it's the kind of thing that could matter. I don't want to. I don't want to diminish it, but it's okay. We're fighting Pin, so I'm actually not even going to use. Uh, the Empress against Pin, because, quite frankly, we don't need to. Instead, we're going to be cautious, but aggressive when Pin does that attack where it just pops its head out. And when it pops its head out, now we don't need to worry about it. But previously, if it popped its head out, we were going to go in for the kill with our, you know, BFF ball of bandages. And we did get a deal with the Devil, which is overly generous, if I'm being honest here. Um... We're gonna get Deal with the Devil precedent anyway. We have the HP for it. So we might as well pick up Book of Sin and use it once first. Get whatever benefit it's gonna give us. It gave us an extra Spirit Heart. That's pretty valuable. Reroll it into Gimpy. Could be better, could be worse. We'll take our range upgrade and get out of here. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, I missed out on Kamikaze. That's my own fault for fucking up the charges. So, you know, you make your bed, you gotta lie in it. Let's see what we got going on here in our curse room. Okay, please. It worked. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't have to work, but it worked. Oh man, that was uh That's why you should wait for a reroll and bombs before you go into a curse room, but we got a little lucky. What can I say? Probably the only time we'll ever be like, thankfully our red chest contained two bombs. Yeah, great start so far. So we have we have a real issue here. And the real issue is excuse me. The real issue is that our tears suck, like real bad. Um what you do, <laughs> I can't believe we didn't get hit there. What you do about uh, real bad tears is you get better tears, predominantly through deals with the devil. What you don't do, and I need to articulate this for myself, otherwise I will fuck this up, is you don't sacrifice all of your spirit hearts using 
ball of bandages. If there's a perfect opportunity, you're not gonna miss. You, you're not gonna mess up your own HP that much. It's fine, but in most situations, we're probably gonna wanna, you know, play things the conservative way. I know the boss is there. We're just waiting until we get our our D with the D, the bang, the bang, Dicky, and all that stuff. Um, maybe we'll get lucky and find a beggar that we can blow up as well. Give ourselves a better chance, because. If we don't get some DPS upgrades soon, we're going to be in a, a tough spot. Maybe Experimental Treatment was actually the right pickup. Luckily, we still have the Isaac Seeker weapon, the D6. Can turn a frown upside down, turn a range upgrade into a uh, damage upgrade. The D6 can, it can make your ranger better, make the world feel good. Yo, we did pick up a range upgrade recently. And I'm actually thinking that that was probably a pretty smart idea. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. That's not okay. But we're gonna get out of this. Oh, there is a tinted rock here. One spirit heart. Basically pays for this room. Yeah, that's good. Okay. That is... That's more than good. Hopefully, um, I mean, this gives us free access to the secret rooms. Hopefully that ends up manifesting itself in some items. I mean, it would be nice to get uh, money or not so much uh, counterfeit penny here, but the money would be fantastic, but it's mostly uh, about items for us here. So this is a big moment of truth for us. I don't think we'll get a deal with the devil, but we might get lucky. Uh, the double Gemini fight scares the shit out of me. Hmm. You know what? Yeah, I don't I don't mind using one bomb for this. Speed it up a little bit and we got very lucky there. Yeah, that was on well, it was not unlucky. Poor play. Should not be using ball of bandages for this, but I know we're safe enough to probably get a deal with the devil, so uh, if we had the option to at least not take red heart damage, I should say. Okay, okay, okay. Calm down. This is not the uh, This was not the floor for a deal with the devil, and that's okay. Probably don't want to blow that guy up with ball of bandages. That's not going to work out nicely for you. It's going to take us a little while here. I mean, this is not a run where I would be, in all likelihood, considering boss rush is a likely opportunity. Oh my god. Okay, well, you got to get two hits on that. That's that's my bad. All right, let's do it again. Oh my lanta. You kidding me? We gotta find our second secret room as well. So we got backtracking. We got our shop to still go. We got that mob trap room we might take advantage of, but for now, this run's looking a little, little spotty. I, I call it like I see it. Um, we're we're privileged in some ways in this run. We have decent HP. I might even call it good HP. But your HP is kind of like it's uh, whether it's good or not is relative to your damage. If you got uh, no damage, 12 HP is not enough. If you've... Mm, I'm happy with the speed upgrade for now. If you've got uh, great damage, 2 HP might be enough, you know? It's it's a very uh, flexible thing. As of right now, our HP is good enough. Oh. There goes my hero. Shaped like a heart and a fly. I don't know if that's actually gonna win us too much, you know, favor on this run. Uh, but it's not, it's, ah, oh, that was so bad. <laughs> There's no doubt that it's not bad. Like, it's good. We will have flies that will do twice as much damage as our tears. Now, our tears suck, but this is a start, man. We still have a second secret room in a shop coming here. The mulligan becomes great with a variety of other items. Um, eases the need to become guppy. Our feline urges. You got it, you got it. Nice, okay. Now ball of bandages can finish the job easily there. Uh, we need to either stack up more damage or a much higher rate of fire if we're really gonna rely on the mulligan. But for now, it's, uh, it's, it's a big... I don't want to say it's a load off our shoulders, but it's like the base of the synergy. It's like you really want a sandwich and your mom just came home with bread. Like, you still gotta get the meat and stuff like that, but it's a start, man. So I'm gonna buy a battery so we can store charges. Pretty good item with the D6 in my opinion, and uh, I wanted to have enough money to also be able to play the blood bank 
on the next floor, uh, or to spawn an arcade on the next floor. It looks like that's going to be conceivable, so then I'm, I'm happy about that. Uh, but this is definitely a little bit more touch and go than some recent runs. A lot of, a lot of stuff going on here. A lot of these bony fights, and I'm not, not thrilled about them. If I have to be perfectly frank with you, I'm trying to get in there, and at the very least, you know. Be a little bit more aggressive. I hate that I have to think about this. Like that's that's the lack of damage we're doing right now. But I can afford to be a little bit more aggressive when we have ball of bandages uh, helping us out here. When it's in the exact path that the bones will take. It's like, you know the bones are predictable. It's one of the few good things about them. They they travel in a way. It's always the same. Please, yeah, that's worth it. I guess I'll accept it. Uh, time to go. I guess. What do you think? There's like three three mushrooms over here. Give it a shot. Look, it's a little bit muted, but I'll take it. <laughs> I'm in no position to say no to that. Uh, a good floor. Um, obviously, you can tell just by the timing that this is going to be a little bit on the slower side as far as our runs go. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Yet. Um... Next floor should not. I really thought those spikes were going to go down, and I almost walked over them. It would have been the dumbest. We had this Empress card we've been storing for a long time, and most importantly, we've got to nurture this beautiful baby bird that is the deal with the devil on the next floor. Could help us out so much. we got enough keys to go in here. I would reroll our whole run. We're not going to get the chance to, and that's okay. I am not shooting the poop. I'm, uh, I've, I've spent more time in this game than I care to admit. Enough time that I don't feel like I have to, you know, demean myself or debase myself by shooting the poop back there. If we really need the money, we might go back for it. But for now, we're living the kind of lifestyle where we can afford to be a little bit more flippant about our poop shooting. Poop shooting boogie. That's the end. For those of you asking, that was a Brooks and Dunn reference. If you want to fight about it, you can... Uh... There's probably another Brooks and Dunn song that I just can't think of that would fit perfect there. When I was in my hometown this past week, it's not like our hometown or my hometown is not like Redneck City. Not that there's anything wrong with it if it was. But uh, we were leaving the grocery store parking lot and somebody, it wasn't like, a, you know, sometimes young kids, and I did this, they'll play like ironic music really loudly in their car because they're like, you know, I want attention, but I don't, I, I'm smarter than people who want attention. So I'm going to get attention for blaring like stuff that I don't even like, like maybe Rebecca Black's Friday or something like that. Anyway. This was not someone like that. This was like a 70-year-old woman came tearing into the parking lot with Shania Twain's Whose bed have your boots been under? Blaring like super loud out of her car. I was like, this is the greatest, man. I haven't heard that song in like probably 15, 16 years. Great song, though. Whose bed have your boots been under? Also, what does that mean? I know what it means. But I guess it's more elegant than saying, you know, who have you been having vaginal intercourse with? It's more elegant, you know? Okay, that was an incredibly clutch... Um, well, that doesn't do too much for us. Incredibly clutch... Uh, lemon party there. This is the moment of truth, man. Oh, that was... Finger slipped out the key there. Good stuff. More flies, more flies, more flies. We got one coming into this next room. This is a big one. This is our Empress card. Now, for this one, because not getting hit is so important, I'm not, and I'm saying this out loud to myself to make it a resolution and a mantra, I'm not going to use ball of bandages unless I get hit in advance. If I get hit, I'll use ball of bandages to speed it up. Until then, we're not using ball of bandages because you're likely to get hit. If you get hit, you're not going to get a deal with the devil. If you don't get hit, you've got a great chance at this deal with the devil. Okay, range up. Man, I do not need any more of those. But we'll see what happens with this Krampus situation back here. There's the power of ball of bandages right there. we got to reroll this. It's good. It's it's a good reroll. I'm frustrated. <laughs> Couldn't think of what to say there, but I was like, Ugh. I really don't want to take it, but I want to take it. Which is my way of saying, like, I'm, I'm lazy, I don't want to come back with, like, another reroll later. Um, we shouldn't have taken that. Actually, I forgot that our speed maybe increased a little bit with the Pact, and uh, my momentum carried me into that, so we won't be able to play a Blood Bank. 
at all on this floor unless we're committed to losing that eternal heart. Could happen, but we'll see. I was gonna say watch a like arcade immediately be here. I don't if there's an arcade, it could still be good. If there's like two blood banks and a demon judgment, walk into a bar, I could be interested. Um or just a regular judgment would be fine as well. Probably should have been hit there. The reason I didn't take uh Oh jeez. The reason I didn't take uh that item is because we might end up wanting to reroll it. The uh fortune teller, sorry. What's it called? Magic eight ball. The reason I didn't take magic eight ball is because we might end up wanting to reroll it, but we still have an item room and a shop available on this floor that are gonna take precedent for me. We gotta get them stored up anyway, right? Like we gotta we gotta get a charge stored up. Now, we probably would like to shoot that poop, to be honest with you. I talked down about it earlier, but now we've got some incentivization. Scapular is definitely good enough. And I, I almost sort of understand how to use it now, even, so... We'll see. Ideally, we get a charge and buy another charge. And, and still be able to maybe buy another item along with it. Champion's Belt, for sure. Yeah. And there is a charge. We don't want to buy it yet, uh, but we do want to buy it. Let's take Petrified Poop on the way back. Goat Hoof is not that good since we got um, Mini Mush. Mini Mush basically compensates for whatever speed downgrades we might have felt we had. I'm expecting like maybe four cents for this. We're at three already, so it's all gravy here. There's four, there's five, five cents. And this will be our actual charge. Um, I'm not going to just immediately go use it because I really doubt we have another charge available for us. We might as well minimize our backtracking as much as is humanly possible and we might even get another full charge this way, in which case we could just buy the charge later, but we might not even want the charge. We should work that out first. Alright, well we're not going to be able to do anything with uh, this room, so that'll be it. We buy the charge? I don't know. I don't think we buy the charge until we know we need it. And the odds are by rerolling the boss room. What was the other one? Blank card? We could reroll that. By rerolling the boss room item, we're probably going to get something that is at least useful, if not the most important. We got the pact, so our damage woes are like a little bit less considerable now, but. I don't know. I would still very much like. I would like a lot of things. Damage is one of them, though. We got two shops left, probably effectively one shop left. I'll take it. Does it beat shot speed? I don't know, man. <laughs> Depends what the card was. All right, so we got an eternal heart out of that. HP's looking good. We're still in, in full on, like, preserve deal with the devil territory. Oh, man. Okay, that was poor damage. Let's just admit it outright. Um, we're gonna be very aggressive, I think about blowing up these skulls. That is just indisputably terrible damage. There's nothing I can offer in my own defense there. Um, we're gonna be very, very aggressive about blowing up skulls now, because it's the difference between maybe getting HP and not getting HP. We'll go back for those consumables. I know famous last words. Don't blow these up yet. That's a stupid play. Just makes, okay, just makes life harder on you. All right, there you go. Did some good stuff there. Don't let it go to your head. There you are, there you are. That's all we need to do, just back into him ever so slightly. Come on, one black heart. One black heart wins the day. Ah, or a, a Hierophant card. I wouldn't be salty about that either, but I'm a little salty right now, getting nothing at all. This should be fine. Had to hold the line there. Not a red chest, so as much as that, I mean, it could have a spirit art, but it's unlikely to. Nobody likes using a bomb for a single skull. But I thought it was the right choice there. We still got one bomb left. This is a scary moment, yeah, okay. It's like half of a fistula, I think. Um, if we can, the more parts we can kill over that. Uh, you know, abyss section there, the better it is for us. But we got a shop right here, probably or at least possibly greed, and an item room. At least something to do with this one reroll we got stored up. D20, huh? Not greed, okay. We gotta buy the spirit art. Maybe we reroll these. 
because they're just not that good. And Humbling Bundle, it goes a long way for us here, so I think that's the right pickup there. Um, I don't think we're going to find anything to do with our D20 here. Which is my way of saying, like, I don't think we're going to find consumables to reroll. We've got two Lemon Parties. I can see forever. Hematemesis. Balls of Steel, that's good. Alright, we'll take our Lemon Parties with us. I mean, Hematemesis could be good, but... We don't want to go into that boss fight yet because we need a reroll, preferably two. But I, I would I would do it with one. I can't be picky. Flies, flies, flies. All right, we're we're done. That's that's fine though. A little bit of damage I'm not thrilled with, but shit happens. This isn't an XL floor now. Depths one. Been to our item room. Been to our shop. There could still be you know something worth saving down here. A tinted rock. Perhaps. You know, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world if I got Small Rock for the first freaking time today. Um, also, we'll be able to find our secret rooms because we took an I Can See Forever pill, so... There we go, as if on cue. I don't know, man. This is a weird one. It's actually a good thing. You know, we'll pick up some money or, or a Steam sale. Either way, the money is probably yeah more worthwhile this late in the game with uh, Humbling Bundle, but it's it's a super weird run right here. Our damage is below average, but still, you know, not colossally above, below average. We don't have that much, you know, utility. We have BFF. That's pretty good if we can get something, you know, more familiars to go with it. Um, we have Deal with the Devil Precedent. We have an okay amount of HP. We have the Battery and the D6. And the Mulligan, but the Mulligan... It's, it's doing stuff for us, but it's not really... It, it's not being able... It's not being allowed to blossom. Because we're just not, you know, that over the top when it comes to our strength right now. I mean, look at how long it took us to kill the Wall Master there. It was ridiculous. It worked! <laughs> I saw them coming and I was like, I wonder if this plan will work. Leave myself, like, basically form my own escape route here. Alright, so that's going to give us two charges by the time we kill the boss. Uh, we might as well finish off our last room here. You never know what kind of greatness you'll get inside of it. Uh, yeah, beautiful so far. Lovely. Very smart decision on my part. Um, where the heck? Oh, we've already been to our second secret room. It's where we got the pills. I can't shake the feeling that this room is maybe going to be a big deal. What else do we have in our in our room there? We had another re-rollable. And a charge? No charge. Without a charge, I can't re-roll it yet. But we might want to reroll it later. What did we get in our item room? It was D20. Oh, we might want to reroll the D20, but let's just see what we got going on here first. Let's check this out. It's gonna be the gate. Cannot tell a lie. I was very much hoping it would be the fallen. Again, I don't even know if that can happen on this floor. Thank you, Gimpy. Got a really nice amount of damage done with the BFF there. Uh, okay, this is this is really big. Death's touch is huge for us. We'll take Guppy's head, use it. And then re-roll it into the nail, which we'll take. But we're not going to keep it. We're going to keep the D6. I think this is good enough. Like, this was pretty solid. Uh, the Death's Touch pickup is extraordinary. Really helps out our flies. We got one-third of the guppy situation sorted, and we got a Spirit Heart out of it. You could argue... The only thing that's arguable there is don't re-roll... Or, sorry, don't... Well, there's two things arguable. Don't take Guppy's head... Which I can understand having that logic. Uh, basically threw away one HP for some flies and uh, a chance at another item. I like it though. And um, we uh, could have taken the nail instead of the D6. I really like the D6 though. Like a lot. So it's going to be hard to convince me there. As much as I think the nail is a great item, D6 kills it. In my opinion. And we actually, we're in a great position now. We've helped out the mulligan a great deal. And you might say, of course you did. You picked up Death's Touch that does a lot of damage. Uh, makes your flies do more damage. And you wouldn't be wrong about that. But because our, our shots do more damage as well, our flies aren't immediately dying as soon as we get them. You know, normally we'd be spawning them. They'd hit an enemy. The enemy would die. They would die. Now we're killing enemies. And as we're killing... Like, Pardon me, as we're killing them, we're spawning flies. Uh, but our tears are killing them before the flies get to them. That was really dumb. Thereby allowing us to actually preserve a little bit of a fly army. Still not, you know, anything ridiculous yet. 
Uh, I'll take it. I'll take it. I don't know what I can offer in my own defense anymore, except to say that I kind of like it. I'm going to use Lemon Party here. Even if it doesn't end up working that well for us, we had another like card outside that I wanted to take advantage of. Um, okay, the card is Two of Hearts. Might be worthless. We rolled that into that. Um, this is our last... Yeah, this is Depths 2, so... This is maybe not the most effective way to handle this, but... I figure we might as well give it a shot. Try to get as many consumables as we can. Black Hearts, Spirit Hearts would be amazing here. I know we can use this on the second secret room and make that happen as well, but... You know... I'm not that concerned about it either way. Would have been a nice area to have our D20 on. That's what I'm looking for right there, Balls of Steel. Play until we get down to 15 cents. That's not, and there's no significance to that number anymore, except it helps me, you know, not be stuck here forever. Mostly getting our pennies back. We already have the uh, x-ray goggles, but okay. Can always come back here, reroll that into another shop item. You never know what kind of goodies you might get there. Dry baby. Oh, black heart. All right, HP's looking pretty good. Hmm, okay, remember, you got cursed eye. Can't afford to dilly-dally too much. Have we been up? I think we've been up. I think we've covered this whole area. Yeah, okay. Cursed Eye. Cursed Eye. Let's forget the shop. Um, I know I just talked about it, but we're not going to be able to buy charges from the shop, so I think we should save... because we already went there. Um, so I think we should save our charges for like a double deal with the devil slash item room situation. So my thinking is we should be very conservative with our rerolls for now. Rate of fire is really nice, like really fast, so I think there's not going to be that much time where we're actually vulnerable. Like even tap shooting is, is pumping out the shots pretty quickly here. Be careful. Yeah, I think we've done a, I mean we've gotten lucky with the death's touch pickup. But I think we've also done a pretty good, oh that's great. I think we've done a pretty good job navigating this run. Um, you know, avoiding pitfalls that we could have fallen into. We're definitely set up for a good chance at uh, at victory here. Two guppy items would seal it, of course. But apart from that, we really don't need much. You know, a, a relic pickup and good play. Which is not always guaranteed. We kind of got like a... You know, we, we made our own guppy here. Except we can't fly, which is kind of a big deal. What do I care about the golden poop for? You know, the golden poop has a real marketing... I wouldn't say marketing problem, rather... Golden Poop, I think, is overrated. You always see Golden Poop go, oh, Golden Poop, oh, it's so good, it's Golden Poop. No, who cares, man? We don't need money, and we definitely don't need anything to do with uh, Counterfeit Penny right now. I'm happy to take Pulse Worm. I'm happy to take a trinket that does basically nothing for us. Except make our shit look real weird as a result of its synergies. <sighs> well, if... Wait, we haven't been to our item room yet. No, yes, we have. And we've been to our shop. What am I talking about? We haven't been to our... Uh, ah. What did we get in our item room? Little Steven? No, Little Steven was our last... Oh, it must have been good. <laughs> it was Cursed Eye. Of course. How could I forget so easily? Um, we should go fight the boss then. We got our charges lined up like perfect. Okay, never mind. We do have our charges lined up like perfectly though. And this is a good situation for us. Okay. Yeah, this is this is real good. Especially if you pay out with HP, I can do some good stuff. Good, 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 good. Or compass, I take it. Or the strength card, which is also actually amazing on this room. And those double hearts are not gonna fall on deaf ears. I'm gonna be very happy to have those. I'm gonna blow you up though. There we go, this is great. Um, eh, mysterious paper, you can get some value out of it. So we'll pop our strength card. It's a really good setup for us with all these double hearts. Hematomies. It's all. This is all like, come play with us, Ryan. Oh, that was that was a bad one. But we got two Gimpy payouts in a row, so hilariously, it actually ended up working out just fine, even though it should not have. We're gonna be able to play these like pretty substantially here. Doesn't really do that much for us there. Okay, we can finally start to dip into those. We got a two of hearts somewhere on this floor. There you go, contract from below. Now, 
Are you gonna work with me? You are sort of gonna work with me. Okay, well, you know, I know I said money doesn't matter, but well, let's just cool it a little bit here. We might be able to get a gimpy payout. Nope, but that's like, eh, maybe 16 cents. And uh, now we'll take our Joker card. Our strength card is gone. That worked out pretty nicely, though. Forgot about this stuff right here. At some point, we gotta say we don't need any more money. Even though we ain't got money, I'm so in love with you, honey. I don't remember the rest of the words. I don't even know who sings it. I don't even know if that's a song. I don't even know what a song fucking is. Let's double down on ignorance here. That was very easy. No deal with the devil, which means we probably joker it here. Nah, it's it's like super not worth it. That is very worth it. And now we just hope and pray for a uh, a deal with the devil on this floor, which can make the guppy dream happen. But even without the guppy dream, I think we probably got a good shot here. We've uh, we've done some good stuff. This wasn't always looking like a one run, and it might not be a one run. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We do have cursed eye. With cursed eye, anything can happen, you know. Oh, double Joker! This is it. What? Lucini pouring from the sky. Let's get rid of it. Okay, I'm like very excited about it is what I'm trying to say. That's why I'm referencing Camp Lowe's 1997 classic Lucini from the New York hip-hop scene. Um, I always thought Camp Lowe was from Seattle. And then I found out they were from New York. And I was like, oh, that's surprising. Why did I think they were from Seattle? And I realized that I just listened to the song the last time I was in Seattle. Like a lot. <laughs> just kind of imprinted itself like that. Okay, so considering the fact that we have, uh, you know, this two Joker cards, we're going to use one on this floor no matter what. Because we can't take both with us. So uh, we have to use one on this floor. We should just wait until we get a double charge. Um, we have a really, really great chance of getting one guppy item. If not a guppy item, you know, brimstone, something, something. It would be great if we got guppy right here, and then everything else is just gravy, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. It, kill, it still could not, ha it, there's a chance it might not happen. Oh, that was not the way to do that. Um, but, th it's the best chance I could have hoped for, for sure. So I'm pretty excited, and, uh, having, even just the ability to fly would help out a lot. Closing in on it. I got a full charge. Let's just not shoot it and walk through the door. There we go. Ah, that's disappointing. You know what? Let's save ourselves a spirit heart and try this out. Ah, it's the hairball. All right. Life's life's good, man. So now we're guppy. It doesn't save us a spirit heart. I, I forget every time. Uh, it looks like Gimpy paid out for us inside of that curse room. That's really funny, actually. So this Joker card now becomes useful for us on the Cathedral, probably. I know my use of the Joker card prior to seeing if we even get a deal with the Devil on the floor, it rubs a lot of people the wrong way. Um, it's just, it's wrong, but it's my own personal style. It's not really, I mean, there's an objective kind of ideal here, and I'm striving to not be it, so I can understand how that could be frustrating. I get where you're coming from, don't get me wrong. Man, Conquest, you're a dick. Oh, you jerk hole. I can already fly. Okay, well, we don't want to... We don't want to have to suffer through this more than is strictly necessary. Almost want to just hold, like, a full charge. Reroll it. Eh, Reroll it. Sure. Um... Well, we might as well get the, the Eternal Heart, then. Uh, almost want to just, like, hold a full charge and then run into bosses with, uh... With our oh, there's a tinder rock with our BFF uh, ball of bandages. That way we can't teleport and we'll do a lot of damage. We might take advantage of that on the chest actually, depending on what our HP looks like. Uh, Joker card is worthless here, but extremely good on the cathedral. Yo, dude, while you're in my game, you're not gonna walk backwards over some shit that should be a solid object for you, okay? We obey the laws of physics in this household. Oh, good. Remember when I had petrified poop? <laughs> oh, we could have gotten 99 cents for the chest. 
Yo, 99 cents on the chest is pretty good, man. What about that, you know, 1 in 80 chance that you get money equals power or Midas Touch plus Unicorn Stump? Fucking Northern Lions always discounting these awesome synergies that happen literally 0.2% of the time. I, that's a straw man argument, and I apologize for it. But it's hard to not have a straw man argument when you're arguing with yourself. I don't know how I'm supposed to... Well, I guess you're not supposed to make up the alternate position and make it sound as stupid as possible by putting on a funny voice. But where's the fun in that? Okay. Uh, not good. We're basically exclusively looking for magic mush balls of, balls of steel here. Balls of steel. Okay, range up. Lemon party? Lemon party is pretty good. I'm leaving some keys behind. Not really on purpose, but it's kind of like... You know, it's it's like gaining weight, you know? If you're eating shitty food, that doesn't mean you're gaining weight on purpose. It just means you like Cheetos. You're not purposely gaining weight. Ideally... You, oh, I forgot that I walked over that. Ideally, you might even want to be losing weight. But you also really like Cheetos. There's nothing wrong with that, necessarily. I'm in that boat a lot of the time. That's like those keys, man. I'm not purposely leaving the keys behind. I'm just choosing not to pick them up. Because the laziness provides me with more of a mental, you know, dopamine reward right now. One day, perhaps, we'll get our comeuppance for that. This is why you love the Fly Army when you can make it work, man. I, I don't want to risk taking damage, like teleporting away, so I'm just gonna run in there and yeah. For one spirit heart to not have to risk teleporting away is fucking sweet as far as I'm concerned. Okay, this should be a guaranteed win here. What we do is we get, uh, oh, don't even try that. Um, we get uh, another charge. Charles in charge of our days and our items. Charles in charge of our days and our nightums, and I think I want, I want Charles in charge of me. It's a shame that that's not a more expensive deal. Yeah, we'll have to go dark matter. A new boy in the neighborhood lives downstairs, and it's understood he's there just to take good care of me. Like he's part of the family, Charles and Charles. Okay, that's gonna be stuck in my head probably forever now. Whoa, cool it there a little bit, Sanchez, or you'll get a knuckle supper. Um, this could be the wrong way. It was totally what I was about to say there. I did not revise what I was about to say in response to the change in our environment. Uh, okay, well, I'm fucking seven keys, man. Well, what am I gonna do with seven keys? Do I live in the land of a thousand doors? I don't believe I do. Well, I definitely do not want the, the, the left hand, the heft land. It's a great name for like a bargain uh, warehouse style grocery store. Heft land. You can use that one, Mike Judge, if you're interested. Making an idiocracy too or something. Anytime you want to like pass away, it's fine by me. Um, oh, this should be, yeah. That was actually very fun. I like that room a lot. I'm hoping to get double charges before our uh, cathedral fight. Then we go down to the chest and it's just chop, skipping and jump away to greatness, isn't it? Lemon party, it's a pretty good pill, man. Don't really love that I lost like all my fly army on a Gertie Jr. I could have killed in like four hits personally, but you know, that it's going to happen from time to time. I uh, can't really take advantage of you as much as I'd like to. So let's just slot ourselves in up here. Play this fine young gentleman. If he gives us some HP, we actually can take advantage of this demon judgment. Maybe we'll get a strength card again and we can just repeat what we did like on the Depths 2 boss fight. Or uh, shop. What am I talking about? Arcade. <laughs> let's get a half heart before I get too ahead of myself here. Oh, I love when the, when the fistula breaks, man. Why am I not uh, re-rolling these? Because I want to save re-rolls for the chest. That's pretty good right there as well. Alright, let's get our invincibility going here. If you like to gamble, 
I'll tell you, I'm your man. Win some, lose some, it's all the same to me. You know what you think about it? That's actually like a pretty good attitude to have for a compulsive gambler. Motorhead. I thought at first you were advocating perhaps irresponsible gambling habits. Instead, you seem to have a realistic knowledge of what's going to happen to you at the casino, given the probabilities of the events, you know? I thought that song was about you being a badass. It turns out it actually is more about you being like a responsible gambler, which if you're going to gamble, is probably the way to do it, if I'm being honest with you. All right, let's... Moving on here. I mean, I don't have all fucking day to spend trying to get, what, like a speedball from this demon judgment. I would really like growth hormones if you could find it in your cold black heart to give it to me, but... You know, I'm not gonna sit around and wait all- oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> See, the squeaky wheel gets the grease, baby! That's what I always say. Great skies are gonna clear up, put on a happy face. Alright, um... So, I'm thinking straight up again. BFF Polaroid Invincibility carries the day here. I guess we killed him from beyond the grave there. Um, I didn't want to fuck it up by shooting my shot, getting hit, and teleporting away, so instead, we didn't. We just ran into him. Mm, yes, yeah, Shielded Tears is actually something I like quite a lot with uh, Cursed Eye. I'll take Taurus and Mom's Wig. They're a little strange, but no, it's, it's okay. Oh, it fucks up our, our scythe hitbox. I forgot about that. It also blocks incoming shots, though, which is pretty dope. Uh, we don't really need those. Let's do our standard exploration here. Has there ever been, like, a hex-based strategy game called, like, Hexploration? Hexploitation? Age of Hexploration? You know, there's gotta be one in there that works. Any PR firms out there looking for a good name? Probably like 2% of your lifetime sales. That's it. No problem. Can't get the fucking Charles in Charge theme song out of my head. I'm not... I'm not as unhappy as I should be about that. Ooh, that's a reroll. And that is, is potentially not, but I'm gonna anyway. I'm gonna take it, I should say. Um, is that... No, it doesn't get rid of our charge. Good. Yeah, I, I'm i okay with this. Yeah, that's... Wait, we already had that with Death's Touch. But we get a speed upgrade. I was just in it for the speed upgrade, baby. We had to take Eve's Mascara because it makes our flies better. Theoretically, we'll generate less flies as a result of the fact that our rate of fire is slowed. However, I'm pretty much killing enemies in one burst anyway, so I think it ends up working out as a positive for us there. Plus the spiders, of course, as well. But the same logic... Sh oh, no, the same logic doesn't apply, because the spiders spawn at a constant rate thanks to Mom's wig. Well, this is a win. Another good win, man. So we're back to our random run next. Uh, those are definitely the... Okay, those are definitely the uh, the scariest ones for us. I know you like to line dance. Everything so democratic and cool. Baby, there's no guidance when you random rebirth. Deep cuts on that one. Okay, Taurus is so good for us when Ball of Bandages is ready to play. Don't really need those red hearts. Dark Bum would have been out of control on this run. And probably reroll them both. Just okay, hello. And then don't ever give him a chance to pick up any red hearts. You rang? Yeah, now I, I headhunted your ass, hired you straight out of college, and now I'm going to put you in a broom closet doing things that we could just as easily get done on a calculator. Because fuck you, Dark Bum. Fuck you. Alright. Here we go. The aerial bombardment is well underway. There we go. Taurus is ready. That'll close us out here. Really fun run there. Uh, a little scary at times, but came through in the end. We're up to 11 here. Feeling pretty good. Spinal Tap style. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Charles in charge of our...